This is a visual tease of Kubuntu 2004. Installed directly into a virtual machine with 8 gigabytes of RAM, two CPU cores, and a 30 gigabyte hard drive. Some parts of the video are sped up and not indicative of the speed of the system itself, which was about typical for a virtual machine running on my hardware. The installer was easy to use and straightforward as expected, and should get you up and running in a few minutes. I watched the slideshow while it installed. Again, typical speed and ease was the norm. I restarted after the installation and logged into the very nice looking KDE desktop. The software updater ran shortly after login and began fetching the updates. Meanwhile, I had a quick peek at the menu. One thing about KDE is that, for me at least, it's stunningly beautiful on the screen. No doubt about it. I love the look of the Dolphin file manager and the split screen function it has, which can be set to default view when starting with the options available in KDE. The wallpaper wasn't my thing, so I looked for something more to my taste and found one that seemed to blend in with the system. This is the desktop settings and some of the many options from where we can configure the built-in desktop cube similar to Compiz. From workspace behavior, we go to virtual desktops and set four virtual desktops. Go to desktop effects, scroll down to desktop cube, enable it, and then click the configure button on the right. We see desktop cube and click over here to choose custom. I'm using ZX keys to activate the cube in this example. We go to advanced, add some zoom, click OK and apply. Hit ZX and drag to your heart's content. Let's add some transparency, make it deactivate when releasing the mouse and zoom out a little more. While there aren't many themes out of the box in Kubuntu, there are lots of themes, icons and other eye candy you can download from the settings app itself. I tried a few and it seemed a little hit and miss, but looks like they worked eventually. Here's a sample of some of the results I got. There are lots of choices. Once the themes are downloaded, a couple of clicks and you have a completely different looking desktop. KDE is packed full of options for things you never even knew you wanted once you dig in a bit. It's also what makes it feel a little busy or complicated at times, at least for me. As you can see, a couple of clicks, everything's completely different and you can restore it just by going back to the original like I've done here. There's even more options in here, different plasma styles. KDE is loaded to the hilt with options, no matter where you look. If you're into customization, KDE is going to be like a dream for you. Apparently you can go to screen edges and use an edge or a corner to trigger the cube rather than the keyboard keys that I used, but it didn't seem to work for me in this virtual machine. Although I did get grid view working after some fiddling around. This is the next best thing to comp his. If you like your desktop stunningly beautiful and complicated, with enough options to lull you into submission, then this one might just be the alley you want to go up.